And my name is Dr Claire Wells and I'm a lecturer in the Division of Cancer Studies at King's College London. The funding that I have from Prostate Cancer UK is to have a PhD student based in my laboratory and that means that they're working with me all the time on a project that I've designed and that money funds their living expenses but it also provides money for us to buy the chemicals and reagents that Mario the student is going to use in the lab. PhD studentships are fundamentally important to basic research science. If you don't have PhD studentships, then there is no way that you can train people who are ultimately going to go on and continue in laboratory science. And if you want people to specialise in prostate cancer research, then it's important that they start out learning how to do prostate cancer research. My name's Mario and I'm a PhD student and my project is basically looking at how fats produced in the body which are responsible for um, producing energy um, drive cancer to spread around the body. My interest in becoming a scientist actually peaked when I was quite young and I started watching a lot of science documentaries and then that um, made me pursue a career in undergraduate biology and from then on I wanted to pursue research into cancer. I was driven to prostate cancer research in this project in particular because I would already been exposed to a similar project in my master studies looking at breast cancer and a lot of the mechanisms involved in driving breast cancer is similar in uh, prostate cancer so I wanted to further pursue that in the project. Mentoring is very important I feel because to begin with we're all quite inexperienced and so regular exposure to your advisor during the week is really important. Um, typically we have at least one hour meetings in which we just focus on my research and then um, Claire will also circulate around the lab and if we have any questions, uh, she'll help us. I've had a lot of PhD students in my labs and it's a responsibility that I take very seriously because they are the next generation of scientists and it's important that we train them well. But it's also understanding where they fit into the larger research picture and enabling them to be able to communicate their research and to broaden their research as they develop as scientists.